Hey everyone, it's Joey Snow and Rick Claus and we are Patch and Switch on the road to Microsoft Ignite September 24th through the 28th at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. Today we are talking about Sessions and the backstory to Sessions at Microsoft Ignite. Sessions decoded. Yes, uh, this is not a 400 level session. You are okay. You can, <laughs> this is an introductory level session, but we're going to be going through a bit of the backstory around how to choose the different types of uh, sessions inside of Schedule Builder, uh, as well as um, understanding some of the nuances between the differences of them all. How's that? Does that sound intriguing? Absolutely, because in our last episode, we encouraged everybody to start building your schedule out now. Start selecting the sessions that you want so that we can allocate the best rooms right. for them. Very key. And when you go through and you start building your schedule, if you click that little filter button and you see schedule or you see session type, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of things here. So let's start breaking it down. Right. So traditionally, we're going to be looking at probably the easiest one that most people are interested in from the bulk of the sessions, which is known as breakouts. Breakouts come in two forms. I'll take the first one. Okay. 75 minute breakouts. 75 minutes, that's approximately one hour and 15 minutes, if you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> and these are going to be your longer, deeper technical sessions that are going to be taking place that the person that's delivering them is going to be able to uh, take questions during and also save time afterwards to be able to answer a couple of questions here and there. But these are your bread and butter technical sessions you expect to see at a technical conference. So when you start talking about technical levels and differences ah. in depth, can we break that down? Because that exists both in the breakout session that's 75 and then what I'm going to talk about next, which is it's a 45 minute session. Yeah. So same thing, but <laughs> shorter. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, the, uh, do we do we decode this a little bit and tell them about the codes or just talk about levels first? Well, well let's, let's talk about the levels okay. and then we'll talk about how the levels integrate into the codes. Okay, so level wise, we have uh, anywhere from a 100, a 200, a 300 or a 400 level session. I don't believe it's 500s or hardcores. We have some of those on the internal sessions that we have at Microsoft, but it's one, two, three, or four, basically where it comes down to. 100 is kind of that foundational level content that you've got. Mm -hmm. It's, it's um, anything from a, a podcast right. to just a, an introductory level session, just kind of get the basics of what that feature functionality is. Yep. Uh, 200 kind of moves to uh, more of an intermediate level. Um, some knowledge. Some information, a lot of the more overview sessions that you get about a particular technology. Some of the Q and A's, I know that you're doing a Q and A with Corey Sanders mm -hmm. that's set at the 200 level. Right. Um, so that's kind of where we are there. Now we get a lot deeper. So 300 level, obviously the next level up, that's gonna be um, hopefully having more demo content in there, more architectural discussions taking place, uh, as well as you, you can almost kind of see this as being command line stuff taking place. Um, possibility of demos going the wrong way <laughs> if they haven't done their, their homework, <laughs> but they should have done that kind of stuff that's going on. But that's where you're going to be having some deep technical stuff. If you don't have a background in those kind of areas, you might find it a bit of a stretch to be able to go off and to get the full amount of what's going on inside of these particular sessions. And then you jump to, uh, you jump from the 300 level advanced session to the 400 level expert session. Right. And these are the types of sessions that if you know a particular piece of technology and you want to go as deep as possible, you want to start deconstructing things, you want to get to the inside baseball, so to speak, of, right. of, of what's happening, that's the level of session that you want. So you can find when you go into your schedule builder, the session level, it's actually, you can find it through the codes, but you can also find it in the metadata. So right. you can actually sort based on the level of session, right. filter the sessions there. But if you're not quite sure what level it is when you're looking and you're reading, hey, there's a session title here, right. a particular piece of technology, you can actually find it through the code. Right, so the, it's the first digit number, one, two, three, four, inside the four digit alphanumeric uh, breakdown of the codes. So right? all breakouts are coded as BRK. Right and then followed by a number, and it's a four-digit number. That first digit in that four-digit number, so BRK2, BRK3, BRK4, is going to be 23, 23, or 400 level. Right. And then if you actually spell this backwards of RKB, then, no, nothing. It doesn't mean anything. I just thought I'd mention it. Why are you throwing just, the people off? Just because. It's, you know, it's, it's fun. <laughs> but anyway, I, I like numerology and how this sort of stuff works. So. Don't think that you should only be racking yourself up full of 400 level sessions if you're an expert. 
go off inside of different areas and explore some tangential uh, technologies and, and take a look at some of the 200, 300 levels potentially as well uh, into new areas altogether. So uh, go outside of your comfort zone, if you will, technology-wise. So those are your breakouts. These right. are the traditional ones that a lot of people like focus a lot of their time and effort on. But I want to encourage our attendees at Microsoft to inspire to branch out a little bit because we've got some net new session types and some things that we started last year in terms of the theater sessions. Right. Theater sessions are some of my favorite. They're, they tend to be very short. Uh, they exist on the expo hall floor. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll go over the and, whole floor map in another episode. And some episode. hallways too, I think. There might be some hallway areas where they have some theaters, and that's still to be determined because we haven't gotten access to the secret maps yet. So we'll find that out. But for <laughs> we'll sure, let you know when we see the, yeah, the when we see the secret map. Yeah, for sure, they exist inside the expo hall area uh, in in a number of different types of theaters inside that particular area. Now you mentioned the length of time; they're about twenty minutes, is what I remember correctly. Sometimes they're a little bit shorter, but approximately up to and including twenty minutes. They don't fall into a regular schedule that maps into you know, the sequential 75 minute and 45 minute uh, architectures for how they sit inside the day. Mm -hmm. So you are going to dive into the theaters, you're gonna have to kind of jump out of your regular pattern of going to breakouts. So maybe do a theater and then do some expo hall stuff and yep. then get back into the schedule of going into your breakouts is one way of doing it. Another location for some of the theater sessions that we have is the Microsoft Mechanics stage. Oh yes, I forgot about that. Uh, super cool, they, they are shooting live episodes mm -hmm. of or they are shooting live, they're not broadcast live, they are shooting, they're in person, right. uh, episodes of Microsoft Mechanics that <clears throat> you'll be able to actually go back and watch later. You get to see kind of uh, behind, behind the, the scenes, scenes and exactly yeah. how everything is, is being done, but the experts are there. Um, an example is Deployment Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Back again, it's oh, wow. been a long time has been since we've seen Deployment Jeopardy. They're doing it there at the Microsoft Mechanics nice. stage. So and another they, cool place to see. There may or may not be prizes for attending and, and participating. So you're gonna wanna go, go there and get your seats to be able to participate. I can let you know that. Yeah, super cool seeing all the cameras, everything and how it all works yeah. and you know, sometimes how it doesn't work and yeah. you have to restart again. You got it. Uh, then we also have, uh, next along these lines, is something called the podcast studio or the podcast area. And those are actually in the schedule and the, you would happen to know a couple of people that might actually have a podcast going on there yes. on Thursday at 9 a.m. Uh, <laughs> however, uh, that particular uh, Patch and Switch podcast is going to be recorded live and streamed to our regular channels, just like the other ones for Windows Weekly is going to be taking one mm -hmm. and then some uh, SharePoint ones are going to be taking them as well. They're inside the schedule. You can go off and see them in a live format. They're actually, if you look at the whole Expo Hall floor when we talk about those maps, they are uh, mechanics on one side, you've got the immersion experience inside of the center area, and then you've got the um, podcast studio area and channel line area uh, on the other side. So they're all kind Very of in cool. the area. Excellent. Uh, speaking of the immersion center, we're going to go deeper into that. Ooh, so when you see point. these these topics, uh, when you see these session types of immersion workshop, uh, and technology workshop. We're going to go deeper into that in its, its own special episode. Right. So you'll you'll want to come back to take a look at that. We'll go specifically onto the immersion center. There's, there's one more. Go ahead. It's called a community meetup. Yes. Were you were going to say that. I, I was, but you can okay. feel free to so, talk about it. So community meetups are uh, again. I'm not going to say impromptu sessions. They are submitted sessions by members of the community around various different topics. Uh, that I don't know if they have a time. Do they have a time limit on them, or is it just simply expressed an interest? I, I'm not sure. Yeah. So th they're new. So so we're trying to figure this out ourselves too. But uh, I've seen some interesting topics that have been coming up already in discussions uh, in tech communities environment uh, around different meetups that are going to be taking place during Ignite uh, and. Um, these community meetups are being led and driven by community members, MVPs, partners, and things like that, uh, that uh, will cover various different topics. And they are in the schedule builder too. Do you know what the code is at the beginning of them? Uh, M -A -M -U -P. Oh, M-U-P. M-U-P as in meetup. M-U-P. Yep. <laughs> and, and you'll also have that level code following right. M-U-P as well. Uh, one last type of session, really only happening the first day. These are the general sessions. Right. So these general sessions tend to be a click down from what you hear in the keynote. So mm -hmm. it really kind of sets up your week. Monday only, right. very similar to a breakout session, just defined as a, as, a, as a general session. That's typically, you do the keynote, then you go to the general session and the breakouts, and then the rest of the right. things begin. So as, as um, Joey mentioned, we are gonna be doing a special episode just on this immersion area, on the, the immersion workshops, and also technology workshops as well, because they're so new, uh, and they require slightly different um, uh, semantics to be able to get into your schedule and be able to work with. So we'll cover that as a later session. But we're out of time, man. Like we're we are done. completely out of time. Uh, 
This is Patch and Switch. We are counting down to Microsoft Ignite, September 24th through the 28th in Orlando, Florida. Follow us along the social media at sign Patch and Switch on Twitter. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash Patch and Switch. Uh, remember, communicate to the official MS Ignite hashtag. That's hashtag MS Ignite. Yep. And we look forward to seeing you in Orlando. Get those schedules built.